from Zero FXB. Welcome to my Mazzy dog walk videos. A question I get quite often from new operators is I've got myself a DMR radio and I can't hear nothing. And this is this is very common. The thing about DMR is there is a massive learning curve. You can't just tune into a frequency and start listening to things like you could with say probably 145 megahertz thereabouts, two meter repeaters, tune the frequency, you're gonna hear it. Yeah, you're gonna hear things straight away. And simplex, you know, without the CTCSS, you're still gonna pick up some, some activity. Same goes for air band, try 133850 if you're near Bristol. Marine band, PMR in the USA, uh, GMRS 462. You're going to hear stuff straight away, but the second you go to DMR, you're not. Because there's two things you need to be. One is near to a DMR repeater, if you've even got one near you. Or, if you've just bought a new radio and you're saying you can't hear nothing, you're not even going to have a hotspot yet, an MMDVM hotspot, which is a little box that connects you to all the talk groups, the DMR talk groups. But there's a lot of learning configuration to that. So the first thing I would do is just find out if you've got a repeater near you, yeah? Google it, DMR repeater, put your, your town in, and then go to that site and, you know, fingers crossed, like there's three near me, um, get the frequencies, and this is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need the, the color code, the receive and transmit frequency, the time slot that they use, and the talk group that they use, and many just, They'll be on 9, TG9, which is actually an invisible wire between the radio and the repeater. And then you can do what they call manual dials, where you key up, so you type in 91, a bit like a phone, transmit, and it will make the repeater go to that talk group. But you've got to add a channel into the radio first, and this is why you need to watch lots and lots of videos, because there's no quick way to do this, and each radio is slightly different. Um, you'll find that DMR, and they call it code plugs, DMR programming, the nuts and bolts is the same. You've got the frequency that you're operating on, receive and transmit. You've got the talk group that you transmit on when you press the PTT that you choose, and there are hundreds, uh, although TG91, 2350, 2351 tends to be popular. The color code of that repeater, which is a bit like a filter on CTCSS, let's call it. And even, the, just remember there, the, the talk group is also called a contact. That has to be added to the channel. Then you're going to use slot one or slot two, which is effectively the channel, using one half of the channel. Let's, let's just put it in that simple way. And once you've created that channel on your radio, and you've got to select digital DMR, then you've got to put it into a zone, because when you select channels on a DMR radio, they are always grouped. So you put the channel into the zone, and call the zone, let's say call it repeaters, DMR repeaters. You select DMR repeaters on your radio, then you select the different channels that you've put inside. This is complicated stuff. There's no easy to DMR. So, and effectively that's memory mode as well. You could press and hold the, you know, the VFO, get it into VFO mode, and each radio will have a different way of getting it into, into VFO mode. In VFO mode, you can type the frequency, but then you still have to go into the channel settings and uh, put in all those parameters that we just talked about. And then you will be able to hear and and um, and transmit if you've got the right parameters. And so, can you see what I mean? It's, it's not that you can't do it because there's thousands of hams out there. There's 250,000 hams registered on the DMR system, and they tend to borrow the software from a friend and add their call sign. You you, you do need to register for a DMR number as well. So it's, it's, for, it's for advanced users. It's not for clever users. It's for advanced users. It's for people that are willing to put the hard work in to learn how to program a DMR radio. It's fantastic the fact that you can sit on your PC, add channels, send them to the radio. You can change the color of the screen. You know, you can turn on the GPS and the Bluetooth. You can do all kinds of stuff with a DMR radio. And I've got several, and I think they're all brilliant. I like, really like DMR radios i really do but they're not for the faint-hearted if you're not willing to to put the the work in to learn how to use it don't buy one 
yeah as soon as you click 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 it's easy to buy there's a Bofeng DM1701 color screen lovely radio does satellite tracking yeah not even 40 pounds sometimes I've seen them selling brand new on um, on the usual selling sites yeah but as soon as you go click 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 remember weeks and weeks of learning and work and it's not fair to expect someone to do it for you and I get so many messages every day from people saying can you connect to my computer can you do this can you do that you know like this you know like no you, you learn you've got to work hard learn and when you're learning don't hate it enjoy the learning if you can't get it right on Monday try again Tuesday try again Wednesday try again next month there's no rush it's a hobby that's you always remember it's a hobby for fun and if you get frustrated learning take a break yeah just take a break we're all clever we all can program radios um, this thing where I'm dyslexic and I'm this and I'm that it's all rubbish it's just hard work yeah just hard work learning and just just roll your you've got to be prepared to roll your sleeves up and enjoy yourself enjoy yourself it's a hobby bye for now